Hey, Norman with iSafe Tractors. In this video, I am going to be rebuilding and rewinding the charging stator in this Onan CCK engine for our Simplicity PowerMax 4040 garden tractor project. Check it out. Okay, let's pause it right there. The tones that you just heard out of my multimeter was the tones of continuity. Now, if you look at the screen, that little green jumper cable is attached from one of the leads of my multimeter to the stator laminations, which represents ground. The other alligator clip that I'm holding, the white one, I am touching the actual stator windings to. Now, if this stator were good, this continuity tester would not beep at all. The fact that it's beeping shows that there is a connection between the stator windings and ground. So that is known as shorted to ground, and that's why this charging system did not work when I got the tractor. So let's take it to the bench and get working on rebuilding it. First order of business is I have to remove all of the old copper windings out of the stator. Now, the windings are typically epoxy to the stator. That way they don't vibrate and shake loose. So first I have to cut through that epoxy, cut through the wires, and then I'm just going to brute force pull it off with the pliers. So here I am using a Dremel to carefully cut the wires. I want to cut only the wires and not the actual metal laminations themselves. Now that all the copper windings are pulled off, this is what we're left with. This is the stator core, and this is what we're going to rewind new copper wire onto. I will be rewinding this stator with 18-gauge insulated copper magnet wire. Now, before we get started, I want to hook up my digital multimeter set on continuity to test and make sure I don't inadvertently create a short to ground as I wind this. So in order to do that, before I do anything, I'm using a razor blade here to uh, scrape off the insulation at the beginning, like the first three quarters of an inch of copper wire here. I'm getting all the insulation off so I can connect an alligator clip from my multimeter and clip it right here. 
Then I'm going to put the other alligator clip for the multimeter on the actual stator laminations itself. That way, as I wind the stator, if it beeps, I know I've accidentally created a short to ground and I need to reposition my wire so it's not touching the laminations. Now here we go into the actual winding of the stator. Now winding a stator is really not difficult. I know a lot of people are intimidated by working on electrical components, but think of it this way. These stators used in these old garden tractors are typically single phase, which means all it is is one length of copper wire that's wrapped around all the poles on the stator. That's essentially it. Now, one of the important details when you're winding this is each pole needs to alternate directions. So this first one I'm working at, as you can see, is I'm winding it in a counterclockwise uh, direction. So the next pole I do will be wound in a clockwise, and then counterclockwise, and then clockwise, and then counterclockwise, and so forth. For this stator, I'm mimicking what the original stator had in terms of turns, and I'm doing about 20 turns per pole. And a turn is literally just one wrapping around the pole. So I'm going to wrap the wire uh, 20 times around one pole in a counterclockwise direction, and then move on to the next pole and go clockwise 20 turns, and so forth. I do that until I get all the way around, and I listen for the beep on my continuity tester. If it beeps... It means uh, somewhere on a corner, uh, perhaps the edge of the actual stator laminations cut into the, the copper insulation. And if it beeps, I need to, I don't have to give up and start all over. I just have to reposition on that wire so it's no longer touching the laminations. I'm just using this pen here just to push the wires in nice and tight so I can fit all these windings onto each pole. Also keep in mind the 20 windings I'm doing per each pole doesn't have to uh, happen in one pass. Uh, so these are actually like two wires thick each pole. So I wrapped it 10 and then I brought it back down and wrapped it 10 again on the same pole before I moved on to the next one.
now that the windings are finished, let's test the stator and make sure it's good. So here I am zeroing out my meter. So the resistance in my test leads themselves are 1.4 ohms. Now that I connect them to the stator, I read 1.7. So the difference between 1.7 and 1.4 is 0.3 ohms. That's a great number. Here I am testing to make sure I have no continuity between the windings and the stator laminations, which I don't. So everything in this stator is good to go to our next step. So the next step in this process is to now secure the copper winding so none of it ever moves as the engine runs and vibrates. I don't want any of these copper wires to shake loose and to possibly chafe themselves against the metal stator. So here I am applying a black Loctite to all of the windings. This is like a super glue. Uh, you know, I wasn't super happy with the way this set up, so later on I added an actual two-part epoxy and I coated the wires to it. Unfortunately, I did not get footage of that, but uh, the idea is the same. You want to secure the copper wires so none of it ever moves. Here I am soldering some stranded copper wire to our stator windings, and then I'm going to add some heat shrink tubing around this joint to protect it. And there it is, our finished stator. Let's uh, put this on the engine and test it out and see if it works. Hey, great news, this stator works. Currently, it's putting at about 34 volts AC, which is just like what it should be. So this project was a success. Hey, thanks for sticking around for this Stator Rewind project for this Onan CCK engine out of a Simplicity 4040 Power Max tractor. Don't forget, iSaveTractors.com is the primary company that sponsors this entire channel. They, we are the leading developers of aftermarket, high-quality engine parts for all of your vintage small engines, like this Onan CCK engine, the Kohler K-Series, the old Wisconsin, Tecumsehs, Briggs & Strattons, and all the other Onan engines. Please check us out at iSaveTractors.com. In addition, of parts we have tons of free information via tech articles and other youtube videos like this we don't just sell parts we save tractors my name is norman thanks for watching